Okay, now we're going to make sure our dimensions are right on the baseball field. Um, so we're going to check the mound first. The home plate is installed, so the, the, the mound should be 60 feet 6 inches away from the apex, the point of home plate. So we'll check that now, and then we'll do our measurements to make sure that our mound is square, that it's, it's facing right. So we'll go ahead and do that, this one first. Okay, once you get the tape out, you can see that exactly the front center of that mound is at 60 feet 6 inches. So we know our distance is right now. So once we get the distance right set, now you want to make sure it's square. So you want to check both corners to the corners of the plate. So what he's going to do down there now is he's going to put the tape on the front right corner of home plate. And I'm going to do my measurement here to the front corner of the pitching rubber. It, it's, you can see it's right right there at 59 feet 1 inch. That's the measurement on that side. And then we'll lift it and come to the other side just to make sure that we're square left to right. And you can see there we're at 59 1 inches there. So because that's right on, then we know that our mound is the proper distance and both corners of the rubber are facing home plate directly. Okay, also to make sure we, we know our distance is right and we know it's square, it's a good idea to lay a string from the apex, the point of home plate, through the center of second base. Just so that way we know we've got a straight line there and that string should split the pitching rubber right in half. So that way we know we're exactly lined up along with our measurements telling us that it's square. Okay, now that our mound's good, we know we just want to double check our bases to make sure that our bases are, are proper, properly set. So what we're going to do is we're going to start here, again at the apex of home plate, and we're going to go to first base. Now the common question I get is where do I measure it on first base? Uh, the answer is the back right corner of the base is where it should be 90 feet. So we'll, we'll show that right now and make sure that we're, uh, we're set properly. goes to the back corner of the base and you can see we're right on 90 there so this is good. Okay now we got home to first now it's time to do first to second and you saw the measurement was from the apex of home plate to the back corner of first base. Well to measure here we're going to start on this back edge of first and we're going to take our 90 foot measurement at the center of second base. Okay, now that we have that, it's the same to do third base. You're going to go from the center of second base to the back edge of third base, and then to go from third base to home plate, you're going to go from the back corner of third base to, the, again, the apex of home plate, and that's going to give you the measurement there. Okay, and once your field is set, if you ever have to move your home plate, typically what, I, what you want to do is lay, lay strings to your foul poles and get your intersection points so you know where the apex is and then you can measure it off with your pitcher's mound in second base. Um, the only measurement we did not show you was from home plate to second base. That's 127 feet, 3 and 3 eighths inches. So that's the only uh, measurement we didn't do, but uh, that's how you can know your home plate's right, that you can square it up with your pitching rubber once you're set there. And just a general layout of the baseball fields, uh, they, they say the sun should set behind your third base dugout in the west. So your home plates should be facing the, the northwest just so that way the sun's not going to be in most of their eyes while the game's being played at night.